yesterday we learned how we can measure different parts of our body by lining up objects. It's called non-standard measurement. So let's remember some of those rules. I can use cubes, you can use jewels, I can use bears, counting bears like we have at school, I can use pencils. What are some other things you used? I saw some people using Legos, and I even saw somebody who used spoons yesterday. That was very creative. Here are some of our measurement rules. Always measure in a straight line. You never want to go in a curve because it's not going to be accurate. So always use a straight line. Make a straight line with your hand. Use the same measurement tool. So take a look here. These are all with counting bears. They're the same measurement tool. Ooh, but over here, there was a bear, a jewel, a pencil. No, that's not going to be accurate. Don't leave spaces. No spaces. Line them up right next to each other. No spaces in between. And know where to start and stop. So sometimes it's helpful to have some lines to help you. So let's go ahead and see. This says practice using the cubes. Can you measure the line? Don't forget to follow the rules. Tell me if I'm doing it right or if I made a mistake. So I'm going to start right on the edge of the line. Lining up and remembering no spaces and using the same measurement tool, okay? Here goes the next one. Oh, no, what did I do? I left a big space, that's not okay. So I need to come closer. Let's put another one on. And another one. And I'll keep going. I'm not quite done yet. There weren't enough. And one more. Hmm, we broke a little bit off, but it's pretty close, right at that square. So how many long is the line? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can get close. We don't have to be exactly right with non-standard measurement. So when you're measuring, you can compare by size, small, medium, large, or sometimes people say big. I can compare by height. If I stand something up, is it shorter or is it taller, short and tall? I can compare by height and line them up by how tall they are, short, medium, tall, and do you see how it, it goes in a straight line like this, almost makes it look like a ramp, from the shortest to the tallest. I can also measure by length, that means how long something is. If you lie something down and see how long it is, so we have longer paintbrush and a shorter crayon. I can compare by length. I can line them up and see the shortest to the longest. So the paper clip is short, the pencil is medium, and the ruler is long. This is what you're going to be doing today. You're going to be comparing by length, or you could also compare by height if you stand them up like this. I'm going to do length in the video that I show you a little bit later. So paper clip, pencil, ruler. Let's take a look at some challenges here. So it says, drag the items from shortest to longest. Hmm, which one of these is the shortest? Yeah, the stick. So I'm gonna put the stick first. And I line it up right with the line so they're exactly the same because that goes back to they told us to line it up in a straight line. Now let's look at these two and compare these two together by length. Which one is the next shortest? Which one is medium? Yeah, the worm. The worm goes next. Line it up exactly with the stick. And then the rake is the longest one. So it goes from shortest to longest. Do you see how it kind of makes that incline there? Let's go to the next one. Drag the items in order from longest to shortest. So this time I need to start with the longest one. 
All right, which of these is the longest from one side to the other? Hmm, yeah, the snail. So the snail is the longest one. What's the medium one? Hmm, let's compare these two right up against each other. Yes, the rock is next. And the tiny ant will be the shortest one.